Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Our special guest for today is Izuku Midoriya, the main protagonist of the popular manga and anime series, My Hero Academia. He will help us to better understand our lesson for today. In our previous lessons, we had an introduction about simple aspects of verbs in our lesson number 8. We also learned about the simple past tense of regular verbs in lesson number 9, followed by simple past tense of irregular verbs in lesson number 10 and simple present tense of verbs in lesson number 11. If you fail to watch our videos about it, I put its link in the description box below. Please complete watching our videos up to its end. I always add some activities and seat works at the end part of my videos to help you master the lesson that we are discussing. I also add at the end of the video all the shoutouts as my appreciation for your comments in my videos. I will mention and congratulate those who were able to finish the video and get a passing score in our seat works. Just comment the score that you'll get in the comment box down below. If you also want me to shout out your name in my next video, just leave a comment down below. Before we proceed to our lesson for today, please like this video as your support to my channel. You can also share this video to your friends, share the happiness, and most importantly, subscribe if you're not subscribed yet to my channel and hit the notification bell for you to be always updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. For starters, let's have a spelling. I want you now to get a pen and paper. I'll give you 20 seconds to prepare yourself. Spelling number one. Spell the word route. Route means a disorderly retreat of defeated troops. Example, the kitten's retreat degenerates into a rout when the cat suddenly fell. 2. Spell spill. Spill means cause or allow liquid to flow over the edge of its container, especially unintentionally. Example, you'll spill that coffee if you're not careful. 3. Spell nip. Nip means pinch, squeeze, or bite sharply. Example, the dog nip his finger. Warning. Don't play with your dog like that or you might get rabies. 4. Spell Flog Flog means beat someone with a whip or stick as punishment or torture. Example, the ladies cried when their mother flogged the stick because of their wrongdoings. Did you experience that? When your parents flog you because of your bad attitude? So from now on, be good so you'll never experience that punishment again. And then last, number five, spell subdue. Subdue means overcome, quitten, or bring under control. Maybe a feeling or a person. Example, the queen managed to subdue those who were against her. Now, let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our spelling. Done checking. Then, let's move on! The simple future is a verb tense that's used to talk about things that haven't happened yet. Example, Midoriya will become a great hero like All Might. Use the simple future tense to talk about an action or condition that will begin and end in the future. Now, let's discuss how to form simple future tense of verbs. The formula for the simple future tense of verbs is will plus root form of the verb. Example, I will master the power of one for all. We will answer our teacher's question. It doesn't matter if the subject is singular or plural. The formula for the simple future tense doesn't change. But there is another way to show that something will happen in the future. It follows the formula M is or are plus going to plus root form of the verb examples i am going to save the girl from the monster we are going to win the fight the going to construction is common in speech and casual writing keep in mind though that it's on the informal side so it's a good idea to stick to the will plus root form construction in formal writing Moving on, let's talk about how to make simple future tense for negative sentence. 
to make the simple future negative, the formula is will plus not plus root form of the verb. Example, Deku will not quit until he saved Eri. If you're going to use the going to construction in negative sentence, the formula is M is or are plus not plus going to plus root form of the verb. Example, All Might is not going to stop defeating bad guys. Furthermore, to ask a question in the simple future tense, the formula is will plus subject plus root form of the verb. Example, will Midoriya defeat Bakugo? The formula for the going to construction is M is or are plus subject plus going to plus root form of the verb. Example, are they going to beat the villain? On the other hand, another way to change verb into its simple future tense is by using the word shall aside from will. But when do we use shall? The traditional rule is that shall is used with first person pronouns like I and we to form the future tense, while will is used with second and third forms like you, he, she, it, they. For example, I shall talk to a girl. They will follow him. However, when it comes to expressing a strong determination to do something, the roles are reversed. Will is used with the first person and shall with the second and third. For example, I will overpower Shoto Todoroki. You shall eat my hair. In practice, though, the two words are used more or less interchangeably and this is now an acceptable part of the standard British and American English. However, the word shall is now seldom used in any normal context in American English. Remember the rules that we've discussed regarding the simple future tense of verbs and take note that going to is used in an informal way. Also, take note that the interchangeably use of will and shall is now acceptable. Now, let's have an activity. I'm going to read the sentence, then you're going to say true if the sentence is properly changed to its simple future tense and false if it is not. 1. Shall the messenger wait for the reply? 2. If your answer is true, then you are correct. Oh, yeah! 2. You will give me your dictionary? If your answer is false, then you are correct. Oh, yeah! 3. Will you be kind enough to lend me your car? If your answer is true, then you are correct. Oh, yeah! 4. Tell him that he shall never repeat that mistake. If your answer is true, then you are correct. Oh, yeah! And then finally, number five, will he be talking all the time without doing anything? If your answer is false, then you are correct. Oh, yeah! For me to know if you really learned from our today's lesson, let's have a seat work. I believe you already have a pen and paper with you, so let's start. For your today's seat work, you're going to fill in the spaces with the correct form of the verb in parentheses to simple future tense. I'll give you a minute to answer the seat work. If the time is not enough for you, you may pause this video.
time's up. Let's check your work. Here's the answer key for our today's seat work. All set. I hope you've learned a lot from our today's lesson. I hope that now you know the rules in simple future tense of verbs. Please comment down below the score that you get in our seat work. If you pass, I'll post a shout out of you in our next video. Speaking of shout out, as my means of showing my gratitude and appreciation to all of your comments in my videos, I would like to post a shout out to the following people. Thank you for all of your encouraging and positive comments. Your comments are important to me. By the way, the sole purpose of me making video lessons like this is to help children be able to study at home. So in order for this video to reach as many children at home as possible, please share this video to your friends. And again, to help me be encouraged in making video lessons like this, please like this video and subscribe to my channel. Don't forget to click the notification bell as well so that you will always be updated to new lessons that I will upload here in my channel. Thank you and see you in our next video. Bye-bye!